Well, everyone, glad to have you here and uh, honored to have you alongside as we close out the day. I am just making sure that we are live, which we are. Great. As we close out the day, we're honored to have you here. Welcome home to St. Peter's. They are at this very moment serving dinners down at Kelly's Cupboard and our Wednesday night supper. If you'd like to go and get some food, you're more than welcome to do so. But first, let's pray. Or maybe just go and get food and then you can check this out on YouTube because you've just liked and subscribed and hit the bell for notifications and you'll get notified that we have up finished the upload. In any event, we're glad you're here. If you're watching live on Facebook, welcome as well and give us a follow. You'll get notifications of when we're posting content and when we are live online so you can join us in worship and in fellowship. We are honored to have you here, and it is time for evening prayer as we close out the day. Here we go. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms 12, 13, and 14 will read responsively by full verse. Help, O Lord, for there is no longer anyone who is godly. The faithful have disappeared from humankind. They utter lies to each other with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, who say with, with our, our tongues, tongues we, we will prevail, prevail. Our, lips our lips are our, our own. own, who is our who master? Is our because the poor are despoiled, because the needy groan, I will now rise up, says the Lord. I will place them in the safety for which they long. The promises of the Lord are promises that are pure. Silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O oh Lord, will protect us. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among humankind. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O oh Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy, my enemy will, will say, say, I have I prevailed. Have prevailed. My, my foes, foes will rejoice because I am shaken. shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing, sing to, the, to Lord the Lord because, because he has dealt he has bountifully, dealt bountifully with, me. with me. Fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks, looks down, down from heaven, heaven on, humankind on humankind to see if, if there, are, there any are any who are wise, wise who seek after God. God. They have all gone astray. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who does good. No, not one. 
Have they no knowledge, all the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord? There they shall be in great terror, for God is with the company of the righteous. You would confound the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that deliverance for Israel would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of God's people, Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to Timothy. The saying is sure. Whoever aspires to the office of bishop desires a noble task. Now a bishop must be above reproach, married only once, temperate, silent, sensible, respectable, hospitable, an apt teacher, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, keeping his children submissive and respectful in every way. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how can he take care of God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may be puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must well be thought of by outsiders, so that he may not fall into disgrace and the snare of the devil. Deacons likewise must be serious, not double-tongued, not indulging in much wine, not greedy for money. They must hold fast to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. Let them be the first tested. Then, if they prove themselves blameless, let them serve as deacons. Women, likewise, must be serious, not slanderers, but temperate, faithful in all things. Let deacons be married only once, and let them manage their children and their households well. For those who serve well as deacons gain a good standing for themselves and a great boldness in the faith that is in Jesus Christ. I hope I come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you so that if I am delayed, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. Without any doubt, the mystery of our religion is great. He was revealed in flesh, vindicated by spirit, seen in angels, proclaimed among Gentiles, believed throughout the world, taken up in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior, for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. A reading from Matthew. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in marketplaces and calling one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they says he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Then he began to reproach the cities in which most of his deeds of power had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? 
No, you will be brought down to Hades. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that on the day of judgment, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom than for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us and your, your salvation. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your Let people, your people sing, with sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, For only you in you can we live, can in, we safety. live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide and us in the way of justice, justice and, truth. and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving, your saving health, health among, among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, Nor the hope of, the of the poor be taken, away, be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us with, us your, Holy with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and merciful God, in your goodness, keep us, we pray, from all things that may hurt us, that we, being ready both in mind and body, may accomplish with free hearts those things which belong to your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. For Caitlin, as she interviews for a job next week, and for the kids that went to the prom, that they have a good time and they get home safely. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, 
by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. We will be gathering again for morning prayer tomorrow at nine. Of course, the shop is open and our feeding ministries at Alice's Cup will also be open for business. Look forward to sharing our time with you both tomorrow and throughout the coming days. We are, remember, moving to one service on Sunday, 9 a.m. There will be Trinity Sunday and Reverend Liz's last Sunday with us as the Associate Rector. So please do tune in if you're going to be watching online or join us in person even better and help us to celebrate the uh, conclusion of her tenure amongst us, but also the opening of a new chapter of ministry and life for she and Marcel as they depart from Maine. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up, let us know your prayer concerns, and of course, give us a follow on Facebook, and we will see you on the morrow. Take care and God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.